Hey, it's Brickazar, and it's time to bring you a vintage LEGO review. We're going to do two for one, because I think these sets go together nicely. we got two Fabuland sets. One is actually from 1986, and one is from 1988, but they both have Lionel. Lion. That's why I think they go together. So we got set 3644, which is Mike Monkey and his taxi, and set 3622, which is Rowboat with Lionel Lion and... Hannah Hippopotamus. Now these vintage Fabuland sets, I love the green, this this kind of bright green boxes that they give you. And these, the instructions are actually the box. So the back of the box shows you the instructions, which in Fabuland world, which is for kids between Duplo age and regular brick age, it shows you a story as they're building the the set. Now sometimes there is actually a story, <laughs> but in the case of these smaller sets it's usually just a build like that. So let's build them. We'll start with Mike Monkey and his taxi. So, Alright, this is what it looks like with it out of the package. Um, there's the wheel. This is actually stored under there. And then it's almost put together for you. Of course, this packaging probably was clear 30 years ago <laughs> when this came out. And you do get a little brochure, tiny pamphlet that has Fabuland. We'll look at that at the end of the video. So we will turn this around and show you how easy it is to build. The way they give it to you is just, um, which one do they got? They got that piece in the front. We'll build it the way they got it. See, this is for kids, so it's really easy to build, and I'll probably still build it wrong. This thing is in, like, mint condition. It's amazing. Now, this is where I can't hardly tell which way this goes. Coming back. And then we'll put this piece on. These are a typical old-timey style. That's what I call them, the wheelbase. It's almost like Fabuland, even though it came out in the 80s, late 70s to 80s. It's really almost like it's from the 40s or something. And then here's the canopy piece. Goes like that. Then we got Lionel. We got Mike Monkey. We got a BBI. And we'll put the flag on it. Let's put it right there. So that is Mike. That is Lionel. All right, here we go. This is supposed to be Mike Monkey. This is Lionel, who apparently is also the mayor. <laughs> I don't know. They actually, um, Bricklink has this set listed as the mayor car, the mayor's mayor in his car, but Brickset has it listed as what, as I, what I told you. And it looks more like a taxi, and of course, none of this actually makes sense because Mike has a nautical hat. He's got an anchor on his hat, so it looks like he should be taking him to the uh, beach or something. But he actually is. He's going to the rowboat because Lionel has a date with Hannah. And Mike says, Hey, Lionel, your girlfriend's a hippo. Lionel says, Groovy man, that's right. So this set is a complete oxymoron. I mean, it looks like a vehicle from olden days. It came out in the 80s. Lionel looks like he's from the 70s with his big chain, his gold chain. But he's the mayor, apparently. So we are going to put him in the car. And he is going to go off and see his girlfriend. His girlfriend, the hippo. All right, now we'll open up this set which is Hannah Hippo and Lionel Lion in their rowboat. We'll dump everything out here. This one actually has a few neat little elements with it. We'll turn it around for the story of how to build it. So we've got this rowboat. It's already partially assembled. It's got a bench that goes in here. And we got Lionel. We got Hannah Hippo, 
We got an umbrella because we don't want Hannah to get too hot. We got some cups for some refreshments, some beverages there for them to enjoy. We'll put we'll go ahead and do this like that. We'll put Hannah. I think she should get the bench. It shows her sitting over here, but I don't think she should be doing the work. We'll put this in her hand. Hannah, put that in your hand. We'll put the beverages in there, and we are ready to go. Oh, aren't they such a cute couple? Actually, I think a hippo would kill a lion. I know the lion's king of the jungle and everything, but I don't think he'd match up well with a hippo. Pretty neat. This is a neat little piece here. If I can get it out. This little container. Are they having lemonade? Or some other beverage of choice? I don't know. And then, that's pretty standard un umbrella handle. It, that's kind of hard to find these. Also the rowboat's kind of hard to find. And the bench. But this is why I got the set. This is my, you know, I love this character. And I love the hat. I wish the hats would come off. Of course, they're not minifigure compatible, but I would love Lego to make a hat like Lionel's got here. So, Hannah, sit up. Got to balance her umbrella. There we go. Isn't that great? But this pork pie hat he's got, I just love it. It's like a straw hat. It's what I like is a it's like a Buster Keaton hat. But it's the only figure I know of that has this, and these are I'm over here pulling on it. They're permanently attached. These are kind of built like Duplo figures. You can't take any of the body parts off uh, because they are for smaller kids. But um, I think it's a cool looking <laughs> figure. I just love the hat anyway. And there's Hannah. She's got a little necklace on. And they don't have much range of mobility, but they are um, they are about the same as a Duplo figure, modern Duplo figure, as far as what they can do, but they're a little not as chunky. Even Hannah's not so chunky for a hippo. Uh-oh. Maybe it was Lionel's twin. <laughs> so, anyway, these are the, um, the two sets. Set 3644 and set 3622. And neither one of them actually have the name on the box, I do believe. Double check. I never did see it on the box. And oftentimes with these sets, uh, Bricklink and Brick Set oftentimes even vary the names of the characters. Uh, some of the sets that ha are bigger actually give you the names of the characters in the little comic book that comes with it. But let's look at the little uh, pamphlet that came with this one. So now we'll look at the Fabuland pamphlet that came with this. Which year is this from? It is from 1986. Alright, let's turn it op open here. So it's in... Looks like three different languages, or one language. What language is that? Aller Afghan ist Ventasy aus Iren Fabuland Elementen Bonn I don't know if that's Dutch or German. I need, I need, um, sorry, I've not be here to help me. But these are some cool sets that are here. This one's like a little carnival. I want to get that one. You got a windmill set. I got to get the windmill set. I collect windmills. Or as other people say, you collect everything. All right, now here is some more. We got an airport, a cottage with an elephant fisherman. We got this walrus guy. We got this riverboat. We got, that's Bonnie's camper. We got that set, and we have this set as well, the airplane. But a lot of these sets in here I do not have. Now here's one. There's that carnival. We really want to get that set. It's got a little Ferris wheel. And a merry-go-round, a slide. Maybe I did get that one. I can't remember. Here's the smaller playground. I know we got that one. We have this one. I may have actually even done a review of it. There's the hippopotamus again. There's the band. I love that set. They call it the orchestra, I think. 
And here's the windmill. Here's a pig shop. <laughs> There's a monkey with a wheelbarrow. There's a um, crocodile getting arrested. He, he liked to ride a skateboard. I have that set. Here's the bureau, the kitchen, bedroom, police station, gas station. There's a set we just got. It's called Dinster Limousine. <laughs> and then here's another little cottage. And then it shows you more information in that language. And then, oh, isn't that cute? She built her own ideas. Or somebody else did. Actually, she's just playing with a set. That's pretty cool. And then it shows you Duplo, Basic. And then, oh, Lego Land Castle. Cool stuff. Monorail. Nineteen eighty six, huh? And there is a picture. Oh, that's not the monorail. I thought it was the monorail. That's the um, that's the twelve volt train. Okay. Scratch that. That's the twelve volt train. And then there's a big mock they made. Isn't that awesome? Pretty cool. So thanks for watching this Fabuland review. We do have more Fabuland sets we will be getting to as we have the time. We're actually going to make a little section of Fabuland in our city. So if you like Fabuland, come to the right place. We've already done a lot of Fabuland reviews. We've got more coming. But we do other things as well, including castle, space, trains is our favorite. We got town, we got the modulars. Uh, get all those things. We've done those already, a lot of these already, so if you want to check those out because the videos are coming out kind of slow uh, right now, but we will be making more. So stay subscribed. We'll see you later. Sprigzar.